Hey guys, what's going on? So you know I love to pig out, I love to eat all sorts of unhealthy but super delicious foods. So I actually try to be more healthy um, by going to places like Whole Foods and looking around for nice organic things. And I came across this, this is this is pretty cool. This is a uh, this is called Moto and it's sparkling matcha tea. If you don't know what matcha is, matcha is basically powdered green tea leaves, but uh, it's much more nutritious than typical green tea because with typical green tea you seep the tea but then you don't really get a lot of the nutrients that's still within the leaves but matcha you get all the benefits of the leaves themselves so basically what this drink is claiming is that a 12 ounce matcha soda has the same nutrients as 12 cups of tea and matcha is like a superfood it helps your memory it helps your concentration uh, it helps you relax but it also doesn't make you drowsy and the matcha is said to help your metabolism it's supposed to raise your daily metabolism by 400 percent anyway like i said i was walking around whole foods and they were giving away little samples of this soda and I tasted it and it was fantastic because usually I drink a lot of seltzer water so I have my own you know soda water making machine and I love drinking it and I love things that are not too sweet so to me this was perfect until I saw how much it costs this little 12 ounce bottle it's four dollars so this thing being 12 ounces let's say it's a six gulper then that means each gulp you take is like 65 cents so instead of giving all your money away to whole paycheck for this drink i'm going to teach you how to make something just as good here's what you need for this drink two tablespoons of sugar or honey several ice cubes lemon or lime if you like and two teaspoons of matcha powder i like to use organic matcha powder and the process is really simple drop in two teaspoons of matcha powder two teaspoons of sugar or honey. Boil some water, then let it sit for about uh, five minutes to kind of cool it down a little bit because you don't want to pour boiling water directly onto matcha. So just pour about a tablespoon or so of water into your cup. Now, a lot of people say you need to use one of those specially made bamboo whisks to kind of whisk the matcha and that's how it gets its silky texture. Uh, I don't have that, but I do have one chopstick, so I'm gonna use that and go ahead and give that a nice mix. Make sure to whisk this really, really well, otherwise you're gonna have little clumps of matcha and that's never good. After that's done, drop in a few ice cubes and about a cup of soda water. And you can use club soda, seltzer, different flavors of seltzer water, but make sure when you pour the soda water in, uh, pour it from the side so that it doesn't get all bubbly Otherwise, it's gonna have a lot of foam that you won't want. After you pour the soda water in, give it a final little stir. And there you go, guys. Matcha soda that doesn't cost $4 for 12 ounces. It's quick, it's super easy. Oh, I like that. It's bubbly, it's not too sweet, it's super refreshing. I can even feel my metabolism kicking up. And finally, if you like, add a squeeze of lime or lemon juice in here. Mmm. And that adds a nice kick of citrus flavor. You guys can control your own sweetness level. If you want this to be sweeter, then add more honey or sugar. If you're a matcha purist and you don't want any sugar or honey in your matcha, then that's okay as well. But personally, I really like this. It has a nice matcha flavor. It's a little sweet, not overwhelming. And I really do love that extra squeeze of lemon juice in here. Matcha soda is something of a love-hate thing for people. Either you really love it or you really hate it. So go try out this recipe and let me know if you like it or not. And if there's no Asian stores near you, I did put a link of where you can buy matcha online. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. See ya!